great win tonight, Coach. Talk about the comeback effort of the Scarlet Knights. Well, first of all, I just want to thank this team for their effort. I mean, they continue to play hard, they continue to grind, and they're doing that because they know that's the way we need to do things. Coach Stringer, as I always say, has laid the foundation for us to get to where we're trying to go, and they're starting to capitalize on that. And just the first half was, we wasn't staying with it. We was taking quick shots, and when we was taking quick shots, we wasn't sharing the basketball. But I felt like if we got tougher mentally, we got tougher mentally, we was gonna be in good shape. And to their, to their credit, they took the challenge in the, from the first half and brought it to the second half, and they did a great job. What did you say the, to them at the half that kind of the spark went on off on I, the second I don't, half? I don't think I said anything to them. But are we, I just asked them, are you all being mentally tough? You know, if, if you can tell me that they're beating us because they're better than we are, I would accept that. But if you're telling me they're beating us because we're not mentally tough enough, we can't accept that. So we've got to dig in and be stronger from the, from the shoulders up. And we're tough enough from the shoulders up, we're going to be a very good basketball team. Zippy had 19 points, a new career high. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about what you saw out of the freshman today. Well, she's a talented kid, and she's a tough point guard, and she's playing with a lot of confidence right now. She's been shooting the ball better in practice, and it's starting to play off in the, in the game for it. She got herself available. She's been attacking the floor, and I think in the 55, she's playing the middle. She's roaming a lot. She's getting steals, so that's getting her opportunity to get out in transition and run a lot more, and so that's, that's what she's doing. She's naturally at that, but we're happy about her growth right now. She's not playing like a freshman, and that's a great thing going into tournament play next week. And then Takia, another great performance out of her, 14 points mm -hmm. off the bench. Mm -hmm. What have you seen out of her lately that's just making her so effective in these last handful of games as we close out the regular season? Practice. She's practicing hard. She's bringing energy and practice. And if she continues to bring energy and practice, then she'll have the habits that she needs to have when she's on the basketball court. She's shooting the ball better. She's shooting the basketball and practice better. So we're, we're very appreciative. I tell her as long as quick as she get on the 55, the better we are. Celebrate a little bit with your hands up on the defensive end. That's what we've been telling her. And she's doing a better job with that. And I'm proud of her, proud of her effort. And I'm proud of her encouraging her teammates to play hard with her. Now, um, a season is a marathon, not mm. a sprint. Mm -hmm. um, what have you seen, though, out of this team, how it's grown since November up until this point now, heading into the postseason? Well, we're starting to believe in each other. That, that's the biggest thing. We're starting to believe in everybody in the room is looking at each other saying, I got your back, I got your back, I got your back. If you fall, I got you. And they're starting to get tougher as a group, and they're starting to lean on each other a little bit more and depend on each other. It's amazing when you can p depend on somebody, and they're starting to depend on each other. If I go for something and I lose something, you're going to be there for me. And, and that's what we're trying to instill in them. And that's a lot better since November. So now we got to get a little bit better with each other. Now we know who our team, are, our team is, and now we know what we got to do. And everybody's understanding their roles. And so we should have a healthy team uh, at the Big Ten tournament time. One last question. Mm -hmm. What is up now for the Scarlet Knights as you prepare for the Big Ten tournament? Well, it, the Big Ten tournament, we're playing to play at home. There's going to be at least two teams in the NC, from the Big Ten that's going to play at home in the NCAA tournament. Why not us? We only, we're one game behind Iowa. We beat the conference champion. So if we can go to, to Indy and play well day by day, then why can't we be one of those two teams that's playing at home uh, during the NCAA tournament?